In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place an order here at cardsandbanners.com. Normally, you do not need this much time to place your order. It's a quick 2-3 minute process if your artwork is ready. But to show you guys uh, all the steps, I will take a lot longer to actually walk you through every single step and explain the whole procedure. So don't get intimidated by the size of this. this training video actually it does not take that long to place an order so um, here we are at cardsandbanners.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can place an order if you already have the artwork ready to go so basically you're asked is your design ready to be printed as is or you need somebody to put together your files you want to have correct high resolution files in order to print. Uh, if they are not ready, then you just click here Creative Studio and you can submit your request to have graphic designers put together your files depending on what you need. But that's for another video. In this video, we are going to show you or I'm going to show you how you place an order when your artwork is already done. You're good to go. You just need to order your cards. So I'm going to click on business cards and how this thing works is here you have details about it. You can read recommendations and so on and if you're setting up your own files you have blank templates here and just open them in your design program and set them up according to the templates so your files are set up correctly. If you need more more details you can just click on one of these tabs instructions and then kind of walks you through and explains a little more about setting up in the file format so on if we're designing it for you there's a little more about it and so on but this is the main tab if you need any information here so that's the information about it product this is the information this side is where everything happens this is the main control thing. So, business cards. All right, so first thing that we're asked is quantity. Okay, now uh, if we click this drop down menu, we see a few things happening here. Okay, so we have the square corners, we have rounded corners, quantities. How many do, you, do we want? Let's say we want 1000 with square corners. Okay, now there's a little orange button right next to this. What that means is you're going to see it you know, a few times as you go. What that means is if you are confused about this, um, click on this button and then that's going to pop up a window and that's going to explain a little more details about this, this selection, about this option here. So these are regular corners, round the corners, and so on. Um, and that kind of goes for, for all the other options too. So if one of these options doesn't make sense what it is, or if you need more details, click on this button. It'll give you more information. Um, so we're, we're back at the step. We picked the quantity. We want 1,000 business cards with square corners. And now we want to select the size. Okay. So there's a drop down menu, we click on it, and that gives us five different sizes that are available. Um, most common is two by three and a half inch, that's the standard business card size here in the States. So I'm going to select that. How many sides do I want? Do I want them just front only, or do I want them front and back? Now that's up to you. Um, if you must use both front and back, that's great. Some people just generally prefer to have business cards only on one side, so they can leave the back side, so they can, they can print, or they can write on it, and that's personal choice, either or. I'm going to print double-sided business cards. Material, okay. Well, I have a few options here, and if I'm a first-time user, that might be a little bit intimidating but it is not. It is actually very simple. What this thing means here, if you come down here, 
that explains what that is. Um, if you are not sure, if you actually want to test the products, if you have the time frame, if you want, we recommend if you just go up here where this says free sample kit, click on it, order a free sample kit, and you'll see all these materials are going to be included in that sample kit. So you can compare, you can you can see the texture, the feel, uh, try writing on them and, and see which one works better for you. And then when you're ready to order your cards, then you can come back and say, yeah, this is the option I want. Um, but really quickly, that's what that means. Um, if you want to write on your cards, basically, best option for you is this 14 points uncoded. Um, you can do glossy and leave the backside non-glossy, but that takes you know, 10, 15 seconds to, to dry uh, versus uh, glossy side, you cannot dry it off. Anyway, that's uh, for another, another video tutorial. Um, we recommend taking a sample kit. It's, it's absolutely free, ships you for free, um, and read through this, and that's gonna give you a little more idea about it. But uh, for, for this video, I'm just going to select, uh, I want 14 point glossy. Now, my next option down here says, uh, if I selected glossy paper, either 14 point or 16 point, see this one or that one, they're glossy, the other ones are not, so which I did, I selected 14 point glossy, then I select do I want the glossy finish to be on both sides or only on the front? I'm going to say for, for this business cards, I want the glossy to be on the front and on the back. So I've selected this option here. Now, again, it asks the same thing. Basically, it already asked us here before we even started. But ask just again, um, do you need us to design it for you or are your files ready to go? Uh, if you need any edits, you need to change a phone number or, or uh, your file is not set up correctly. Or if you just scan in a document, that's not printable because it will print like that. So in such case, you will want to go back and either design it yourself, have somebody design it, or you can come up here to Creative Studio and have our designers design it for you professionally. Um, so, if you do need a design, you can click here, and that is a, takes you to the same place as this button here, Creative Studio, and you can, same thing, here or here. Um, if you do not need it, which in this case I do not, I already have the files, they're ready to go. I will click here, and I say I'm uploading files, ready to go. Okay, perfect. Design proof. Hmm, okay. Um, I have two choices here. Email me a proof for review and approval, or no proof printed as is. This is pretty self-explanatory, but sometimes uh, it might not make sense to everybody uh, if you've never printed before. So you can always click on this button. Again, you know, these buttons are everywhere. And that will explain what this option means. And that gives you the whole explanation. And what this option means, and that gives you again explanation about that option. You're like, okay, that makes more sense now. So, um, I'd like to see how my cards are going to look in just in case. And then I'll select email me approve so I can review it and then approve it um, myself just to make sure. Otherwise, if you're ordering all the time and you're very confident that your design is good quality and size and all that, then you can say no proof, just print it as is. That's up to you, uh, depending on your uh, own comfort level. Printing time, um, there's more information about it. Uh, depending on the quantities and products and so on, you can click here and review it, depending on what you're ordering. And select. So even though there's only one option, you still have to select it. If you just, if you didn't select it, if you just stayed on this, it won't let you proceed. So you, you have to select, there's not that many, it's just like click, 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 just go down this list and it's like 10 seconds. Uh, I'm taking much longer than it normally does. Like I said, 
But even if there's one option, you still have to select it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to move to the next step. File orientation. Uh, please select. Are your cards vertical or horizontal? That's what. It's horizontal. This is vertical. My cards are horizontal. Okay. Upload front. This is a maximum file size. This is a really large um, size for, for, for artwork. If your file's way bigger than this, then you need to go and reset your files. You need to flatten your layers, save them in the correct resolution and size, um, download a template and set them up according to templates. Uh, if your file is bigger than this, then something is wrong. You're not setting it up right. Um, so your file should not be bigger than this. This is huge, huge, huge file. Um, if you have questions uh, about the file formats, again, they're already explained here on the instructions tab. But this is also a quick little uh, explanation. If you just click here again, that tells you what file formats are accepted, this and this. It gives you the whole list of, of, of things. You can read through that. Um, so I'm going to upload my file. It's my files, business card, front, high resolution file. That's what I want. I already have it in my folder. Okay, see, nothing's happening, but it's here. You can see it. Um, there's no like a loading button at this time. And then upload your back. Same thing, just as front, this is just for the back. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to upload. This is my back. Okay. Okay, and there's back. Now, based on all these options that I've selected, this is my total for this order. And see, I didn't skip anything. If I skipped something, then it would have not let me go to the next page. But looks like I got everything, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to cart. All right. So that just took a little bit longer, took a couple of seconds. And the reason why it took so long is because it was uploading my files. And here it says successful. You see this green green bar that comes uh, in the green check mark. That is a good sign. That means you uploaded your file. File saved successfully. If your files were some format that it's not accepted, this would not be green. It would be um, bright red or orange warning sign up here. And it will tell you that that file is not supported and it hasn't been uploaded. But we're good. So this is your shopping cart content at the moment. So I have one item, that's my total. And this is what I have here, business cards. And this is what it costs. And this is what I've, this is what I've selected. So this is really like a few options, it takes a couple of minutes. Quantity, size, sides, and so on. I can see down here, here's my files that I uploaded, upload front, upload back. I can see them here, that means they're uploaded. There's no, there's no preview, but it shows my file names, so I know they're here. I can see them. And next, go to checkout. This is all I want. On this page, it basically tells you, are you a new customer or you're a returning customer? If you're a new customer never ordered with us, don't worry. Your files are still in your cart. You can see up here. Um, but as a new customer, just click on the sign up button and just set up a basic username and password and address where your cards are going to be delivered to. Otherwise, we have no idea where to send them to. And we don't collect information for, for to spam you or anything like that. We just need that information so we can ship your card to the proper address. Uh, and you can have your login information and check back on the status. You can see the, the tracking number later on. When the tax season comes, you want to go back and maybe uh, print your uh, receipts and so on. So if, if this is the first time, just sign up. If you're a returning customer, you can just click here and log in. And it is just that simple. Okay, so I've just logged in. And see, you can see up here my account log off. And there's no more uh, login screen and here I am this is my shipping information this is where my cards will be shipped to my address 
my name, my company. If this is not correct, you can click here and change it, or if you want to send it to another address, click here and change it. Make sure you're not using a PO box. UPS cannot deliver to, to you a uh, PO box, so just make sure you follow these little uh, instructions here. It has to be actual physical address. And how do I want the shipped? There's always free shipping option. You can upgrade if you want to, to, to different options or if you need blind drop shipping. Blind drop shipping is, uh, it's explained down here what that is. So I'm gonna make this video a little bit shorter by not explaining all that. But each one of these is explained down here what they are. Partial shipping, shipping, blind drop shipping and so on. I want free shipping, so let's just uh, go to the next step. And on the next step, so we were here, now we're here. The payment method. Um, this is a billing address. Billing address and shipping address is two different things. Billing address is the address that uh, should match the address that's listed on your credit card statement with your bank. Uh, just so that we can the payment processor can actually uh, process your payment. Um, okay, so moving on. Terms and conditions, you have to agree, otherwise you cannot proceed and you shouldn't be placing an order if you do not agree to the terms and conditions. If you want to read the terms and conditions, see this link right here that's changing color when you mouse over it, you can click on that, it will open a new page and it will be a list, um, and we'll be de explaining in details all the terms and conditions. Um, you can read them. I already know them, so I'm just going to click that I agree. And here I can see my order total. Um, this is really, really simple. So if I have a discount coupon, I do not at the moment, but I wish I did. I would. This is the old. Um, I would just click here and I would just type in the coupon and then um, when I go to checkout it will apply a discount. I do not have a discount coupon so I'm just uh, going to enter my credit card information here and proceed to the next screen. I've just entered my card and we are on the next, next page. On this page we're just going to review this order really quickly make sure that everything is correct my billing address, basically just to verify, if I need, if I made a mistake, I can click and edit the delivery address, the shipping address, where the cards are going to be shipped to. If I need to change it, click here and change it. My card payment and down here is what I've ordered. I already reviewed it. Um, you can just double check, make sure all these are correct. This is files that I've uploaded and this is my total. And if this is all correct then i'm just going to click confirm this order and it'll take me to the page that's it order has been placed um, thank you for shopping with us online and your order number is right here that's my order number and tells me that i can log back in check the order status and so on so i can click this button here and i can see my receipt and print it off or i can just log off that was it. My order has been placed. Everything's good to go. This is my receipt number. Uh, receipt's printable. I can go back to my account this way or up here that way. So I just click here and I can see in my account there's, uh, there's this order right here that I just placed. Uh, it's processing. I can click view and here's my order currently processing this order status. Once this order is in print, there'll be another line here that says your order is currently in print. Once it's shipped, it'll show a tracking number. So you can go back and, and, and check this order status and you can, you can just see all this. Um, so when I go back, if I have any other questions, I can just, uh, there's some more information up here. But that is it. That is how you place an order here at cardsandbanners.com. Again, I apologize for this lengthy video. Actually placing order is a two, three minutes um, tops. It should not be longer than that. If um, you're ordering for a first time, it might take you like five minutes just to quickly read through it. 
but this is a very uh, detailed explanatory video. That's why it is this long. So thank you for your time.